Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get creative with blurb icon backgrounds in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. So let's start by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. I'm going to call this page blurbs, but of course you can call this page whatever you want. Click on use Divi Builder. And for this design, we're going to build everything from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and select build from scratch. Next, we're just going to add some settings to our background. So in fact, you know what, let's add our column structure. So I'm going to go ahead and add two equal columns. And then I'm going to go over here to my section settings. Let's set our background color by clicking on this plus button. So I'm going to add my color in here. And by the way, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Next, let's head over to padding and give this some breathing space by adding padding to the top and the bottom of 126 pixels. Now we've already uh, selected our column structure. So let me just save this. And since we've uh, selected two equal columns, I'm going to click here and uh, go to design sizing. So here on sizing, we just want to make sure our width is set to 100%. And also on the maximum width, we're going to set this to 100%. So this means our design now is going to be edge to edge. Next, let's go to our spacing here so we can set our padding. So I'm going to start here with my top padding. And this is going to be 8VW. And for the bottom padding, we're going to set this to 15 VW. Now for the left and right, we are going to set this to 12 VW. So notice that I'm going to activate this chain because I want my values to be applied to both sides. So with all our settings done, let's come over here to our content content tab and then click on the first column. So here we're going to add a background to our first column and we're going to make this white. And then we are going to come over here to design, click on border, and we want all our sides here to be 2VW. Now I know you can't see anything here yet, and that is because we haven't added our shadow. So the next stage now is to come over here to our shadow, go with the first option and set my blur strength to 47 pixels. So it's currently at 18. Okay, so I've just noticed that my border here was not applied. In fact, it was but it's on two pixels, it's supposed to be 2VW. Now notice now we have these shapes. So pretty much we're done here, I'm just going to save this, save it one more time, and then we're going to duplicate this twice, because we're going to be making several examples of this. So the next step here is to start adding all our modules. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for my blurb module, select it. And here we just need to get rid of all this text and also get rid of the title. Here on image and icon, let's um, activate use icon. And the icon I'm going to go with is just this uh, link icon. So I'm just going to scroll down here and then here it is. Next, I am going to add a background color to this and make sure this is set to black. And then we're going to come over here to design image and icon and we're going to start making some further changes to this. So the first thing here to do is to change your color. So I'm going to change this to this yellow. And then we also need to uh, Make sure our icon placement is set to top. And then over here on use icon font size, we are going to set our custom size here. And uh, this is going to be 3VW. So next, we need to adjust our content width. So I'm going to come over here to sizing. And here on our content width, by default, it's set to 550. We want this to 100%. And for the width itself, this needs to be 11VW. Now let's set our top margin. So I'm going to come over here to space and our top margin here is going to be minus 5VW. Margin bottom is going to be 0VW. Our left margin here is going to be minus 1. And then top and bottom padding is going to be 4VW. Right, so the next option here is, or the next design is to add some rounded corners here. So to achieve that, we need to uh, come over here to border. And um, notice that I've deactivated my chain here because I don't want the borders to be applied to all the sides. So I'm going to set this to 50VW on the three sides except the bottom left. So this is the shape that we want to achieve. And then the next thing we need to do here is to come over here to our box shadow and make sure you choose the first option and set your blur strength to 50. And then finally, we come over here to the advanced tab, click on custom CSS, and we are going to add this custom CSS on the blur on the blurb image. Now I'm going to add a link to this 
post in the show notes below so you can add the same CSS code. All right, so pretty much we're done here. I'm gonna save this and then next we're gonna add a text module. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and search for my text module. So here I'm just gonna type in design and branding. So while we're still here, so the next step is to come over here to our background and go to the gradient background. So I'm gonna set my first color here to transparent. So I'm just gonna select it and just click on this very first icon. Next, I'm gonna add my color here and it's gonna be on yellow. And if you want the exact uh, color, I'm gonna leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so let's head over here to our gradient direction, make sure it's set to 180 and then our start and end position needs to be at 74 percent so this is pretty much what it uh, what it should look like now there's one thing i forgot to do here and that is to set our text here to a heading text so let's highlight it and set this to heading three now we can go in and customize that heading text by clicking here on design heading text heading three. So our font here is set to default. We need something different and we're going to go with Josephine. Let's go with Josephine Sands. Our alignment is going to be center and for our font color we're going to set this to black. Now let's set our text size. So over here we're going to set this to 2.4 VW and for our letter spacing we're going to set this to 0 EM. Now let's head over here to sizing. So over here on the sizing we need to set our width to 50% and while we're here you can also go in and set your sizes for the tablet so for the tablet we're going to set it at 60% and we just want to make sure that this is aligned as well now the really fun part is to head over here to transform and we're going to play around with this positioning so I'm going to come to transform translate so here on transform translate the very first thing you need to do is to disable or disengage the chain and we are going to add minus 20 over here. And on the Y axis, we're going to set this to 13 VW. And then on the transform rotates, on the first option, we're going to set this to 280. In fact, let's make it 270. So pretty much we're done here. I'm going to save. Then we're going to add a call to action module here. I'm going to click on this plus button and search for my call to action. So I want to start by removing the title here. And for our button to show, we need to add a link to the button. So I'm just gonna add a blank link for now. And over here on the background, let's remove the background by clicking here on transparent. And then over here to the design, we are just gonna make sure our text is set to dark, aligned left. So for the body text, we're gonna set this to a font called Crimson Text, select that. And then over here on the body text size, we're gonna set this to 1.2 VW. And for the line height, we're gonna set this to 1.8. And we might as well customize this button here. So I'm gonna click here on this brush tool, activate use custom styles for button. And we're gonna start by adding our button text color. And for our text size, we're gonna set this to one VW. Next for our button font here, let's use Josephine Sands. And then we're gonna set our margins, come all the way down here to spacing and for the margin here, we are going to set our margin at 3VW. So now I'm going to go into my call to action settings because right now you can see we don't have enough breathing space on the left and the right. So I am going to come over here to spacing and I'm going to add 7VW to the left and the right and then we're going to save. So I've just noticed here that uh, this design and branding is all the way down here. We need to use our margins to bring it back to position. So now that we have this design, all we need to do now is to clone the contents of this column over here to the right. So let me just show you quickly how to do that. So first of all, you wanna come over here to your row settings and delete the second column and then just clone the one that we have right now. And now you can see we have a duplicate over here. Next, you can just go in now and uh, make some adjustments to the second column so you can go in change the colors over here and i'll just show you quickly how to do that so you can click here go to design image and icon and you can set your color in here and also you can set set the matching the matching color here for the underline as well so pretty much that's how you add more content and also i forgot to mention that here on the text as well you can change this from design and branding to something else now let's move on and let's work on column two. So this is going to be our second design. So over here in column one, I'm just gonna add a brand new 
blurb. We're going to delete all the contents as we did in the first example here on image and icon. We're going to choose icon and I'm going to select my icon that I'm going to use for this. So again, I'm going to use the chain icon, but of course you can choose any icon that you may want to use. We're going to set our background to yellow, paste my color in here. Next, we're going to come over here to design image and icon and we're going to set our icon here to white. And for the icon font size, we're going to set this to 3VW. Now let's head over here to sizing because here is where we need to set our content width and we're going to set this to 100%. And then the next stage is to come over here to spacing. And here we're going to add our top and bottom margins. So I'm going to set my top margin here to 0VW. Left and right, it's going to be 3VW. And notice that I activated this chain because I wanted to add the value on both sides. And then for the top and bottom padding, this is going to be 2VW. Now let's head over here to border and we are going to add a border here of 2VW all around. We're going to go here to our box shadow, choose the first option and then save. Now here we need to go to column one because on column one, we need to remove the box shadows. So I'm going to click here on box shadow remove that and also we need to remove the color so to remove the color we need to come back over here to the content tab click on background and just remove the color like that next we're going to go back to our blurb settings so i'm going to save this save it one more time and then i'm going to click here on this gear icon click advanced custom css and on my blurb image i am going to set my margin bottom to zero and then save Right, so the next stage is to add our call to action. So I'm going to search for call to action. So for our button to show, we need to add a link. So I'm going to come over here and add a button link. We are going to remove our background here. So I'm going to click on transparent. And while we're here on the content, I'm just going to come back over here to my text and get rid of this title. So over here now on the design, I can go to text and just make sure that I give this a color. So I'm just going to set this to dark. And now this brings all my text. So back over here on the content, let's set our background color here to, to white. So here on this text, uh, we can decide to add a title here. So let me just add what title goes here because this just makes the design even more balanced. Okay, so I'm just going to put back the, uh, the title there. Now over here on the design, I'm going to go to title text and set our title here to Josephine Sands. For our body text, we're going to set this to crimson, crimson text. We're going to set our size to 1.1 VW and we are going to also make sure that everything is aligned left and we're also going to make some changes to this button. So I'm going to click on this brush tool, use custom styles for button and here we can change our text color, set our size. Now let's just do a few adjustments. So I'm going to come all the way down here to spacing and I'm just going to add a margin of minus one. Now if you want this closer up there to the top, let me just increase this to let's say minus three. You can see here, we can uh, move this up and down as much as we want. So it's up to you, you know, what size you leave it at. So I'm gonna set this to minus three. And then over here on the border, for my call to action, I'm gonna set this to 2VW. And notice that it's going on all sides. Then I'm gonna add a box shadow. I'm gonna choose the first option. And my blur strength here is going to be 50%, I mean 50 yeah, 50 pixels. And just like what we did before, we just need to delete uh, the second column and then duplicate what we have here. So after you've done that, this is what it needs to look like. So all I've done here is just gone in and changed the background color and also the text in here. So using this technique, you can also have different design layouts. So you can actually have this icon here over on the left by using your transform options. And you can also change the background color of this to achieve different types of layouts. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials and when we go live. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.